What's up, YouTube? This is Shuttle Boy, and I'm back with yet another video. Today's video, we're going to be doing a new series, actually, and we're going to be calling it Item of the Week. So let's get right into it, guys. All right, so this new series called Item of the Week is basically going to be a series where I'll do it semi-weekly, but it's really just, uh, you're only going to get one of these videos once a week. Um, but um, I'm going to be doing these videos where for that week, uh, there might be some kind of clothing item, whether it be a t-shirt, a jacket, some pants, or sneakers that I'm really feeling recently, or I have some serious strong opinions about, and it might not be something new. It could be something that came out years ago that it just kind of uh, came back in my mind recently. I've been thinking about it more recently, and I just want to speak my thoughts about it. Or it could be something that um, is coming out soon or in a way distant future. Let's just go straight into the item of the week for this week. And maybe you guys will understand a little bit better of what this series exactly is. But this item of the week is actually going to be... Bang. Bang. The Punk Face Jacket. So it won't always be golf wing. It won't always be sneakers or something like that. I'll try to keep it so it is at least somewhat of a unique idea every time that it's not just constant repeating. Um, but this item of the week is going to be the punk face jacket here. Um, now, if you guys do or do not remember, um, this was one of the first golf drops after Flower Boy that was like a legit drop. It wasn't just Flower Boy merch. It was the first real golf white drop, if I remember correctly. It also came out um, with some punk face pants um, that I believe were denim material and all over punk face it was. There was also um, a sticker that was coming out of different sizes, I believe, too. There was a really big one and a really small one, I know. And yeah, it was really cool. Um, back in that time period, um, we saw the jacket and actually in the lookbook, uh, we saw a picture of Anwar Carrots, shout out to him, um, wearing the jacket in the model picture. And it was just a white jacket. Um, we did not see the back at all, actually. And all we saw was that it was a white collar jacket um, with some nice um, colored buttons on it. And then it just had a little yellow tag uh, on the side that is indicating golf wing. And then eventually, uh, I don't remember how we found out, but eventually they flipped it and showed us the back. And then we were like, holy crap. I knew that jacket had more to it because that was back when Golf Wang would do that a lot. They would just show you the front of some item, whether it be a jacket or something, but then they'd show you the back like at a later date. Or sometimes it would just be right when release date comes, you actually get to see it and you see the back and then there'd be some crazy design you didn't know about um, that was on there. And that, that was always really cool. Um, but this one especially, I remember it because obviously without that is such a um, conservative design if you did not have that on the back. Um, it'd just be a white jacket, you know? Um, but I, yeah, I really liked this when it came out. I had to get it. Back in previous drops, they actually released Punk Face originally was on t-shirts and hoodies. Uh, I always thought that was really cool, but I never got it. Um, I wasn't buying golf wing consistently at that specific time period, um, but I do have some older golf from that time period. Um, and yeah, this jacket just all in all is really cool, guys. I really like it a lot. Um, one thing that I would like to note, um, which I feel like I, I said in a video when I reviewed it, but I feel like I should uh, talk about it a little bit more, is the fact that it's all digitized. Um, now, you guys may or may not know, I was a big advocate for saying that um, that whole raspberry t-shirt being pixelated was garbage. And I do know for a fact now that um, it was not intentionally pixelized. That was just them picking a low quality image and nothing to do with art style. I know that for a fact. Um, they have told me that. Um, but uh, it reminded me about this because nobody gave the digitized or the pixelated look really any hate when this came out. Um, but I will say as time has passed and when I saw it in person, I was a little bit bummed when I saw that. Um, but obviously in the image you're seeing now, it doesn't look too bad. But um, if you go really close to this, like look at that, you couldn't even, if I just gave you this specific image you're looking at right now, you would have no idea what this is. Um, and um, personally for me, I think that's kind of whack. But um, at the end of the day, it's supposed to be something that um, I think at least in my opinion, it's something that from afar, it's supposed to look really cool. 
Um, now, would I rather they just did it a higher res instead? Obviously, I without a doubt I would. Um, but I, I still really like the jacket for what it is. Um, I think the lining is really cool too. I think that was one of the greatest touches of this jacket. If it didn't have that, I would probably be like, eh, this jacket's whatever. Um, but the touches of that, I also love just the copper touches um, when it comes to the logo on the labeling and being in that copperish color and just the buttons themselves. I think that was a sweet touch and it just fits really well too. I got a large and I'm like six foot one, uh, around 170 and it fits me perfectly. I really like this jacket a lot. It has like a denim jacket kind of look and I really like that. Um, but it's a very underrated piece in my opinion. I really don't hear too many people talking about it really at all. It's something that deserves some more love. I'd love to see Punk Face implemented uh, the same way that Flames was on some shorts or on some shoes, just like on the Chuck Taylor. I think that would be a really cool idea. Um, will it ever happen? Yeah, maybe. I mean, we didn't ever expect that Flames was going to have this much um, to be released. Um, but then again, we didn't even expect that Punk Face would ever come back either. So, I mean, anything's possible, honestly, when it comes to uh, retroing of designs. But that is going to be my item of the week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's going to be a series that it won't be every week, but it is the item for the week. Um, so I really think this will be fun though because then we can reminisce about older golf or older clothing and we don't have to always talk about what's up and coming all the time. So that's going to conclude the video guys. Please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you haven't already for more golf weighing, more sneakers, more clothing, more Shuttleboy. And this is Shuttleboy guys. Get them out guys. Peace.